12.3 degrees, 12.3. And the starting mileage is 42338. 42338. Hey YouTube, it's Joma's9. He's got a topic again. Today's topic. So we're coming up on the uh, holiday seasons here. Uh, to be more specific, we're talking about Christmas. Uh, and those for you who celebrate Christmas, um, it usually involves um, gifts, gifts to your children, Santa Claus, that whole whole nine yards. And uh, so uh, typically when you have uh, families, well here let me just give you my story then. So during the holiday season uh, families will exchange gifts. Uh, it used to be for us that we would buy gifts for all the other brothers, sister-in-laws, for me, the, our niece and nephews. We'd buy everybody a gift. And of course everybody else in the family would do the same. And the gifts would be small, I guess, because there's a lot of people, right? So what happens is that over time, especially when people have you know, family or kids, they uh, spending that much money kind of gets to be like a burden on them. So it's, it goes for, at some point it goes from buying gifts for everybody to exchanging names, right? So now, instead of buying for everybody, you just draw a name for one person and you buy a gift for that one person. Hmm. I am steaming. So conceptually that's cheaper now, right? So instead of buying for everybody, I buy for one person. But even then, so you have like a, usually some kind of preset amount. So like 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 20 bucks, 10 bucks, who knows. A preset amount. And then what you, what's usually asked for is a wish list, a Christmas list. So everybody would create a list of things that they want, uh, publicize it to everybody, and then whoever has your name would buy you something off your list. Well, if you think about it, it's a wish list, right? So it's not really a surprise anymore because it's probably something off my list. And at some point, it gets down to the, instead of uh, having a wish list, or the wish list could actually include this, which would just be a gift card to somewhere. So that, what it ends up being is, you buy for one person and it's a gift card for somebody. And that person probably bought a gift card for somebody else. So really, in, in reality, all you're doing is exchanging gift cards, which really just means, instead of me just buying somebody a gift card, I could just take the gift card, because if somebody would have got me one, and just spent it on myself. So, it would kind of take the whole holiday spirit of exchanging gifts and surprising people, the whole secret Santa, or whatever you want to call it, and we replaced it with, here's 50 bucks, somebody else give me 50 bucks, and we're even. It kind of takes the the joy out of the holiday season. So I don't know if you guys have uh, experienced that. It's, it's, it actually gets to the point where it's kind of dumb to even bother exchanging gifts. But anyways, that is my topic and I'm guessing it's kind of loud since I'm on the interstate. So uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Ending mileage 42380, 42380.